Welcome, friendly viewers, to Science and Spirituality for part two of our interview with Dr. John Hagelin, who is well known for his grand unified field theory based on the superstring, a formulation he says explains all the forces of nature in a single doctrine. Dr. Hagelin is a world-renowned vegetarian quantum physicist from the United States who received his PhD from Harvard University, USA. He is currently the director of the Institute of Science, Technology, and Public Policy, a leading think tank housed at the Maharshi University of Management in Fairfield, Iowa, USA, and international director of the Global Union of Scientists for Peace, an organization of leading scientists throughout the world dedicated to ending nuclear proliferation. He has led studies on the nature of consciousness and is a leader among those working to bring science and our spiritual heritage together. Dr. Hagelin has authored the book, Manual for a Perfect Government, where he describes how an educational system which helps develop human consciousness can effectively build a stable and peaceful society as well as enhance government's effectiveness. He has also comprehensively researched what is called the Maharshi Effect, which most simply put is the constructive results of a group of people meditating together using the Transcendental Meditation Method. This type of meditation practice was taught by Maharshi Mahesh Yogi, an Indian spiritual teacher. Dr. Hagelin has published scientific evidence demonstrating that when a sufficiently large number of people meditate together, they can effectively lower social conflict as well as crime rates in the vicinity around them. Depending on the size of the group, the area affected can be a city, a region, a country, or even the entire world. Let's now learn more details about the Maharshi Effect from Dr. Hagelin. The world is still plagued by violence and war. Is there a way to leverage the power of meditation to produce social change and even to stop warfare? in war-torn areas? And the answer, amazingly, is yes. Um, first of all, basic principle. We as individuals are not islands. We have an inevitable effect on each other, on our families, on our work environments, on our schools. And if one person is extremely agitated, that has an infectious negative ripple effect. If somebody is very harmonious, very calming, very unifying, very loving, that also has a positive calming ripple effect. So just as mm, violence, chaos, panic can spread through a city, for example, mm -hmm. harmony, unity, coherence, calm can spread through a city. What does it take to achieve a society-wide transformation where you could lower crime rates, for example, in a whole city, in a whole country? Mm -hmm. Well, it takes a few people to do that. Mm -hmm. It would take about 1% of a city mm -hmm. taking time out twice a day to meditate, to transcend, to reduce violence and increase the calm and coherence and harmony within the city. But if you can get those meditators together in a group practicing very specific, very powerful meditations, like we have here in Fairfield, Iowa, a group of 2,000 mm -hmm. advanced meditators dedicating hours a day to their collective practice of transcendental meditation and advanced techniques, ex transcending and experiencing this powerful field of unity mm -hmm. and creating a ripple effect from that deepest, most powerful level. That can transform the entire country for this whole country of the United States, about 2,000 people is enough, according to theory and research, to produce a demonstrable change, a significant change. And since this group started four years ago today, mm -hmm. we predicted in advance that there would be significant reductions of crime throughout the country. We predicted in advance with the press that our country would adopt a more peaceful effect in the world, a role in the world, a more peaceful administration. What has happened? Well, according to all the newspaper articles today, mm -hmm. that uh, crime started going down four years ago this month, mm -hmm. and crime is down right now to the lowest point in the United States, murder in particular, in 40 years, just as predicted. And according to the universities in the country that measure peacefulness of a whole country, and peacefulness 
in the political relationships of a country, this country is also right now in terms of foreign policy, believe it or not, more peaceful than it has been in decades. In the scientific world, research conclusions are much more readily accepted if the study has been published in a respected, peer-reviewed journal. The experiments involving the Maharshi effect have appeared in leading scientific journals, including the prestigious Yale University USA's Journal of Conflict Resolution and Social Indicators Research. There are many studies about this, 50 published studies. This group of advanced meditators located here at Maharshi University of Management in Fairfield, Iowa, has itself been enough to begin to turn the tides in the United States from higher crime to much lower crime, and certainly a more peaceful outreach to the world, as predicted. And so it's very, it's very possible to do this. It takes you know, a number of people, of course, to to change the direction of an entire country, mm -hmm. but 2,000 is enough. When we hit 2,500, which I'm hoping we do within a year, that transformation will be far more comprehensive and far more profound. If you can get well, even a couple thousand together in one place, practicing their TM and advanced techniques of transcendental meditation, you can create a peace-promoting factory. After this brief pause, we will continue our engaging discussion with Dr. John Hagelin, Director of the Institute of Science, Technology, and Public Policy. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. And one of the reasons for my being here in the cornfields of Iowa is to help build this peace-promoting group of meditating experts to produce a powerful influence peace for the country and hopefully turn the United States into a beacon light of peace for the world. Welcome back to Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television, featuring an interview with Dr. John Hagelin, a world-renowned vegetarian quantum physicist. Dr. Hagelin says that to explain the essence of the universe, physicists have gone beyond exploring the realm of physical matter and now focus on the field of consciousness as the actual heart of all that there is in the cosmos. His explanation of how our universe works is called the Grand Unified Field Theory based on the superstring. Dr. Hagelin says the key to accessing this field is meditation. We need to take mind the awareness beyond the mental to the field of consciousness. That's where nature is most powerful. That's where peace is powerful. You need to really change human behavior at a deeper level. You need to actually start to rewire the brain so that the scientific truth of the unity of life, the unity of humanity, becomes a living reality in daily life. You need to elevate the consciousness. Remember, the superstring, unified field, is the foundation of nature's intelligence. It is a level of dynamism where the energy density is a thousand million million times more powerful than the nuclear force. That's the level where you can even overwhelm the destructive potential of nuclear weapons millions of times more powerful to prevent the use of nuclear weapons. The scriptures tell us that with a mustard seed of faith, you can move mountains. How do we explain that? And how do we harness that power? You harness that power by taking the awareness from the very superficial, which is where the mind is weak, mm -hmm. to deeper and deeper levels where the mind is powerful. Why is nuclear power a million times more powerful than chemical energy? Because chemical energy operates at the molecular level. Nuclear power operates at the nuclear level, which is a million times smaller, and therefore, according to quantum mechanics, a million times more powerful. So the deeper you go, the more powerful you become. You can shout out the name of God, and it's, you, know, you get some emotional kind of upliftment. I mean, you can settle down deeply and feel God's presence, and that has a more powerful, pervasive influence on the mind and body. Or you can go deeper still and unite with God mm -hmm. on the level of being. There is where you can move mountains. 
And the group meditation is taking a group of individuals, contacting and stimulating that most fundamental and powerful field of nature's intelligence to transform entire societies. So you're in one way saying that um, the, the practice of meditation, and specifically group meditation, takes one beyond, uh, say, con this concept level uh, into a beingness level. Absolutely. Even as individuals, we have a lot of power from that deepest, deepest level of our being. Mm -hmm. In a group, that power is actually amplified powerfully. And the reason we bring the group together is to leverage that power. Um, for example, if you have two loudspeakers, mm -hmm. if those speakers are playing the same sound, it's called a monaural signal, if those two speakers are moving together, they produce a wave sound wave that's twice as big, twice as tall as a single speaker, but the power of that wave, the volume of the sound, grows as the square of the height of the wave. So instead of getting twice the sound, you get four times the sound. Three loudspeakers gives you nine times the sound, nine times the power. Mm -hmm. The principle there is called constructive interference, or the n squared power of coherent radiators. If you put 2,000 coherent radiators in a group, all experiencing and stimulating in unison that field of unity at the basis of all diversity, that, that becomes a tidal wave of unity, a tidal wave of peace. And you can have people that are miles away, hundreds of miles away, from the Golden Domes in Fairfield, Iowa, where people assemble to practice their group meditation, and you'll feel the influence. We also asked Dr. Hagelin about the vegetarian diet and how it influences the Maharshi effect. There's a lot of research on vegetarianism mm -hmm. and even veganism and health. Based on my experience, a vegetarian diet does tend to make you more settled, more clear, and more peaceful. Through his research, Dr. Hagelin has verified the power of group meditation in creating a peaceful and harmonious energy that reaches out and embraces others in surrounding areas, thereby promoting more constructive lives and the love of all beings. Thank you, Dr. John Hagelin, for your contributions to advancing global peace through your scientific work on group meditation, the nature of consciousness, and the grand unified field theory based on the superstring. May God continue to bless your kind and noble work, which reminds us that universal consciousness and love know no boundaries. For more details on Dr. Hagelin, please visit www.hagelin.org. Manual for a Perfect Government is available at the same website. Esteemed viewers, thank you for your gracious company on today's episode of Science and Spirituality. Coming up next is Words of Wisdom right after Noteworthy News. May we always earnestly seek the inner peace within. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash SS.